Okay, class, we're going to turn uh, letter E into a three-dimensional um, object by using one-point perspective. So this will be our first venture into using perspective. Um, quick project, and then it'll lead to you being able to make your own name. Mm. So first thing you do is you need to get your journal. Get your journal, get a pencil, and a ruler. You will need a ruler for this. It'll make it your life a lot easier. Um, we can only use the grid up to a certain spot. So first of all, go ahead, we're going to use the grid paper to make a, a big letter E on the left. So on the left side, go make a, a, a vertical line. Make sure you draw it on the grid line. Then at the top of that line, off to the right, make, the, make a horizontal run, uh, line going out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines, eight grid lines long. And then down the bottom, make another horizontal line, also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grid lines long. Once you've got that done, um, you do not have to use your ruler for these lines. If you like to, you go ahead. <clears throat> um, it's nice that the grid lines are there. You can just trace over them. We will use the, the we do have to use the rule lines in just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Go ahead and draw a at the end of the top uh, horizontal line. Drop down a vertical line about one, one, two, three, four. Let's make let me complete that line. all the way down there. So it's four, li four grid lines down, and then one, two, three, four grid lines up. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Now we're going to go back the other way, back to the left, and Make two horizontal lines from from here, from here going to the left, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six lines to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six lines to the left. Grid lines, that is. That uh, actually stop. You should do five lines only because I'm going to end up erasing these. Yeah. There you go. So I took one line away. Then you drop your vertical line down, and then you have what looks like a C. But I'm going to count down. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three grid lines down, and then make a short uh, horizontal line to the right. One, two, three uh, grid lines up. And then I'm going to make a horizontal line going to the right again, and then connect them. And then <coughs> erase, <coughs> excuse me, erase that uh, extra line on the inside right there. There you have it. You have a uh, letter E. But now you're going to go, I'm going to back up a little bit here, back up. Um, go ahead and put in a horizontal line. This will be your horizon line. Um, halfway through the E, which is, in this case, the E is 10 spaces down, uh, spent 10 spaces, 10 grid lines from the top, from the top to the bottom. So halfway through 10 is 5. So 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got that wrong. Nine spa nine lines up, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eighteen in all, but half of the eighteen is nine. So on the ninth line, you put your horizontal line across, and that will be called our horizon line. And then out about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and advance. 
right there. We went, I went out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grid lines over to the right, and that's where I put this thing called the vanishing point. <clears throat> and then please label your vanishing point and your horizon line. They won't be part of your picture. Remember, this is just practice. Now we're going to make the E look like it's going to go back in space with um, some parallel lines, lines that, that run side by side, but never touch. For example, like these. They would never, ever, ever touch. Um, however, if I did a non-parallel line like this, these would touch right there. Or if I did it like this, they would touch right there. Those are not parallel lines. Um, so parallel lines, lines that run side by side, would never ever touch in space. So what we're going to do is make the parallel lines look like they touch in space by putting them back to a vanishing point. Um, if you ever look down a highway, you see that the the road, the sides of the road, they look like they converge, but they don't. They never do because the Earth is round. Uh, we'll get into that later in a different video. Um, but right now, just go ahead and connect for the corner of the top corner of the E to back to the vanishing point using your ruler now to make the lines. You can't trace over the grid line, so use your ruler. And then the bottom of the top of the E, go ahead and connect those lines. And then from every corner, basically on the right side, you're going to make a line. Uh, you won't be able to see this one, so that doesn't work. This one, yes. This one, yes. And connect, and connect, and connect. All using your ruler. So now you've looked, made the E look like it's shooting out from the paper, if we, especially if we erase this line. There, and I'll get even smaller, and there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these extra dots that I don't need. Now I'm going to, what I need to do is to make sure that my, uh, I need to, I've made, here's what I've made so far. I've made the front of the E, we've made the sides of the E, now I need to uh, and we do that by dropping in some vertical lines. So I'm going to do it right here, all on the same, um, all on the same grid lines. You can use your ruler if you like. Might be a good idea. There's one. Actually, I'll do them a different color so you can see. Let's do green uh, right there. And so this is where my E is going to end. There. And I didn't do. Just skip every other one. How about that? there. And then what I'll do is I'll take my eraser, so you will need an eraser, and I'm going to get rid of these guidelines, because now I know where my E ends. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put my correct those there. Now I've got these kind of, it's just kind of hanging out there. What is This has no end to it. So we need to make an end to make it go back in. See how this line is here? Well, we need to make the same line over here um, so they are parallel. There's a, a line in front that is parallel to the line in back. And then also a line that's parallel to another line in the back. Par line in the front, parallel to the line in the back. Line in the front, parallel to the line in the back. Yes? So let's go here, there, and down, and then let's erase, get rid of that extra line. And then you'll see it better after I do the next one. And then go from the, the bottom corner, whoops, about a quarter over, and you will want to use your ruler for these because uh, you'll be off the grid. 
<clears throat> that one didn't work too well. I'm going to use switch to my pen. There. So then I'm going to use my eraser and erase that. Wow. Lots of stuff we just did. So we created um, now to make it even show out even better. I'm going to go ahead and shade in. Let's just assume that there are there's a light source over here right on kind of on top and to the side and then so anything underneath would be the darkest here I'm going to use black yeah so there's a sh dark shadow under on the underside um, same thing here on the underside of this but I'm going to bring it out to if you want to go ahead and color the whole thing in, that's fine. We'll get used to it. I could fade it out. Um, I could even do that with an eraser. If I... Well, I'll worry about that later. And right now we're just making an E. <clears throat> and so the front... The front has to be lighter or darker than the side. So since the light is coming this way, then these three fronts will be the lightest. Um, and then so the side, we've got to color something in the middle. Let's make this a little bigger. go. So then I'm going to go even lighter for the very front. So I actually I'm shading in just a little very lightly. All right. And the next one I could do a little darker. That's too close to that one. There. There we go. And I could go back and outline it a little heavier just for graphic sort of feeling to it. Maybe it helps you see it a little better. Okay, and that should do the E. Oh, I guess I forgot a couple. There's your E.